Hey there everyone, quick video. Um, I've, uh, <clears throat> first of all I apologize for all the, uh, the updates over the weekend. Um, clearly I hadn't thoroughly tested this before releasing it on the forum. So my apologies uh, to those that were seeing these updates and started jumping on the um, the uh, the enhancements, started building themes and or tweaking themes, utilizing this stuff, and then uh, and then all of a sudden seeing another update and another update. So yes, I have another update, and I'll explain why. So. Um, one of the one of the users on the forum uh, yesterday had reported um, some images not being displayed and and all this kind of stuff. So I I had a look, <clears throat> and sure enough, it would show the first time, and then you would go into a different view in Big Box and exit, and those images were replaced with essentially black rectangles. So. Um, what I had also noticed while I was in Big Box, and I should have checked this before, was memory consumption. And memory consumption was running very, very high. And um, so there I, I had tweaked the user control to you know, free up as much um, resources uh, that it had used um, as, quickly as, as quickly as possible. Um, and then, uh, and then I released that build last night or yesterday, and um, I did some further testing, and I still noticed a very high uh, memory utilization um, uh, percentage uh, when running in Big Box. So I was this close to actually pulling all the code out, and in fact, on my laptop, I had actually. Um, uh, disengage the grayscale um, property um, so that you couldn't give uh, any given image uh, this this kind of grayscale uh, or yeah grayscale um, appearance but then I had another thought and I went about it a completely different way so before I was using a custom user control that would kind of mimic an image um, but it would allow, um, you know, this transformation of your requested image into a grayscale uh, variant. That's gone. I've deleted that. Um, I've got a different approach, um, and it's I'm actually using a converter. So if you're familiar with XAML, uh, converters are used all over the place, and in this case, and and. Um, uh, the community uh, theme creator uh, relies very heavily on, on converters to do numerous uh, tasks. And uh, so anyway, I've, I've built a new converter called Image Companion, and that will um, allow a transformation of your requested image to grayscale, same as before. Um, but you can also apply, well, you can either apply a grayscale or um, a color tint, or both. Um, and I've also tweaked up the um, uh, opacity um, mask as well. So I'm gonna go through this real quick. I've, I've done probably more waffling at the beginning of this video than it's gonna take me to actually demonstrate um, you know, the, the tweaks that I've made. But my focus has been on the performance when running within Big Box, um, and I'm very, very happy with uh, the performance uh, from this change. And and from this particular build, I went back and I I took some earlier um, themes, regenerated the code using this build, and there was no uh, CPU or memory uh, hits. So that's that's good. Um, I wouldn't expect it to because those themes from months ago are not leveraging the new features, uh, especially the features that um, uh, I started on last week. So that's good. But that was not the case over the weekend. I could take an old one and republish it and it just crushed Big Box. So uh, 
anyway, so let's go into the theme creator. We're on uh, 1088 now. Yep. And um, I have actually basically touched all the DLLs. So, you know, if you follow my instructions on the forum, um, you know, you need all this stuff. You can't just piecemeal. Otherwise, you will run into issues if you if you don't include or don't copy um, or don't utilize the, the, the latest DLLs, okay? All right, so I can pick anything, but I want to pick a game view. All right, I'm just going to move the wheel down here. I'm going to add an image. And I'm going to make it full screen. Um, let me see. I want it metadata. I want to pick. Um, so we're in a game view. So I want fan art. And let me just hold it there. I just realized. Let me pick um, something with decent artwork. Um, either the Wii U or the. Let me pick. There's only three games for the Wii U. Okay. So how about this? Um, all right, this this is a good one. So if I go into the view, here's our image. Sorry, I kind of jump around. So I'd selected fan art, and here's our uh, grayscale property that I had put out. Um, and just to let you know, if you have actually used this property since I put it out. I've included a space between very, so very space low and very space high in the build that you have at the moment. It's very low with no space and very high with no space. So when you load up this version, this value is going to be um, none, I think, or it will be a blank value because the value contained in there is invalid. So just reselect whatever you had before. Uh, you either had it at very low or very high. Just reselect it and then you'll be good going forward. I'm just letting you know. All right, so I'm going to pick high. And here we are at high. And if I pick very low, we have this very grainy, which is kind of cool, uh, very grainy um, grayscale. But like I said, I want to keep it at high. So nothing. On the surface, nothing has changed from what I showed you um, on, on the previous video, all right? It's under the covers where um, all the magic is happening, um, and, it's, and it's doing it lightning fast. So now this is new, so I figured this is, this is my gift to you as an apology. <laughs> um, so I want to apply a color tint, and... Um, what I'm going to do, let me make this a very kind of darkish brown. And because it's a tint, it needs to be somewhat opaque. So 50%, boom. So now the trick that I was showing in the video before, I had this rectangle full screen and I basically applied this color um, with this opacity percentage and it would give this look and feel. Well now you can actually apply both at the same time. And like I said, I can apply the color tint over the original image without grayscale, or I can use uh, grayscale with no color tint. So you got a combination of, um, um, of, of these properties now, but I, I want both. All right, so, um, so that's an image, you know, your regular image with grayscale and color tinting on. Now the other thing, uh, and because it's an image, this applies to anywhere that you use the uh, image UI element. Again, I'm going to go into um, uh, custom images this time, but for games. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, whoops. Over overzealous. I want um, an image. It's metadata again. I want game clear logo. Let me just bring the image in a little bit. 
and align it center uh, and I'll just put it in the middle I guess that's the middle uh, okay so the there's, there's greys in here, so it's got this silver look. This is probably not a good example. I can always jump to a different game here. Um, there you go. That's got some colour in it. So we'll go in this one. And again, I'm going to apply the same trick. Now, the coloured image has a transparent background. Okay? So when you apply a grayscale, it doesn't know anything about transparency. So it's actually converting the transparent data and it's applying a black background in this case, okay? So you get around that. And this is where I changed the opacity mask and I said, you know what? I want the mask to be the current image. And basically what that does is reapplies the transparent um, uh, back, backing or background uh, to this image. So that's what you would expect to see. So that's pretty cool. And again, I want to use the um, color tint. Remember, change the percentage. And there you go hit save, there's my custom image and no matter what game I pick now they use this same look and feel. So if you wanted to give your um, custom images a, a kind of like a bronze look or a, a copper look or a silver look uh, regardless of uh, or, or whatever you want to do like a noir theme now you can control um, what you um, what your custom images look like and uh, roll them out and uh, as you can see it's got the mask intact so it's nice uh, transparent background yeah it looks really cool so and you have uh, rinse wind to thank for that one uh, <laughs> it was his idea so let me just go through uh, a few more other games. I just, I mean, not to say that it won't work. I just want to see what they look like uh, with other artwork. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks really neat. Yeah, the possibilities are endless with, you know, with this, um, with these set of properties on the image UI element. It's, it's pretty wild. Um, so let me see. That is essentially it, okay? Um, it was kind of a do-over for me. I, I, I kind of had the right idea, just used the wrong approach twice. Um, third time's a charm, here we are. And, um, and an enhanced version as well. So um, I, I, I hope you like this. Um, I know I kind of went through this rather quickly, so you're going to have to back up a little bit on the video just to catch what I did here. But the trick is if you're applying a grayscale to an image with a transparent background, then you must, unless you don't care, you must apply an opacity mask and select current image, and that will reapply a transparent background. Okay, so that's that's the trick. Um, and then obviously, when you use color tinting, you can only use solid colors. Remember to change the alpha um, because if you make it, if you take the default of 100%, you'll end up with that, which you know you may want in some cases, but that's what you're going to end up with, and I'm sure that's probably not what you want. All right, so just remember to change the alpha percentage to something less than a hundred and then you'll get this effect all right so I told you this is a quick video um, again my apologies for all the uh, the releases um, over the weekend um, and if you've been watching closely and you've been running some of your published themes in big box and seeing big box run very hot um, where it wasn't running hot before that's on me 
um, this will fix um, all those issues, okay? So again, my apologies. I hope you enjoy um, uh, a revamped version of this feature plus a couple of other features. And uh, I'd be really interested to see what you come up with as and when you use um, these enhancements, okay? So take care and uh, I'll speak to you in two weeks, barring no uh, other issues. I should be able to show off what I'm working on on the next major release. All right, so take care.